So uh, thank you, sir. Good to see you, by the way. Thanks for coming on and doing it's this. It's great to see you, man. It's a couple of Fordham guys just talking a little football. Yes, the Fordham is Broadcaster University as opposed to maybe quarterback you or anything uh, like that. But you're right. We did both go to Fordham. Um, Kale, you know, our network is headquartered in Chicago. That's the, that's the headquarters of News Nation. So everybody out that office probably wants to know how good Caleb Williams is. How good is he? An absolute monster. There is no reason. There was no reason for the Chicago Bears not to take Caleb Williams as the first overall pick. Connell, the reality is you go back a year ago at this time, there were conversations that Caleb Williams could have been the first quarterback taken off the board in last year's draft. Super talented, mm -hmm. obviously guy who's won a Heisman, has won in two different programs, whether it's Oklahoma or USC, as you see some of the throws and, and the things that he was been able to do out on the football field. And the situation, Connell, for him in Chicago is really terrific. DJ Moore has already been in place. They signed DeAndre Swift in that backfield, got Keenan Allen on this roster, and then with the ninth pick, taking Roma Dunze, who you could make an argument might be the best receiver in this class. So Chicago, it's an A-plus for round number one. Now, everybody wants to know what Atlanta's doing. I mean, I think we have the money that uh, uh, Kirk Cousins is making at Atlanta. And as I was kind of half-joking around, if, if people are confused, he may be the most confused person. They go out and get this Penix kid who's very, very talented. But, why? you know, why are they taking a quarterback? Do we know? Yeah, you know, Connell, I've gone back and forth on this. I still don't know if I net out like this was a good thing or a bad thing, because I can see both sides of the coin here. Number one, this is a division that's gettable. And Kirk Cousins was seen as a missing piece to an offense that that sputtered the last couple of years. And I, I look, he's coming off an injury with the Achilles insurance policy. This is an expensive one with Michael Penix, who now is the eighth overall pick. And on a team where the margins are so thin, Connell, like if there's an opportunity for for Atlanta to go and win this division, maybe. And if they lose, let's say it's Tampa Bay that goes and wins the division in the NFC South. It, it, was there a game changer? Was there a player at eight that they could have taken that would have put them over the top? But yet I look at last year and the revolving door of starting quarterbacks, 68 quarterbacks we saw start NFL mm -hmm. games a year ago. If Kirk Cousins goes down or sure. if he's just not right coming off of injury, Penix does make some sense here. Yeah, us Jet fans understand that. Our, our quarterback lasted right. all, didn't even <laughs> yes. last a series last year. Speaking of which, this actually kind of released the Jets a little bit. Put up all the quarterbacks that were taken in the first round. After Caleb Williams, you had Daniels, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Panix, who we've talked about already. J.J. McCarthy from uh, Michigan goes to the Vikings. Bo Nix, that's an interesting one to me, too. Uh, you probably know more, but I think a lot of people thought he was a little bit lower. And, you know, Zach Wilson's going to be out there with the Broncos. That, sure. was, uh, that was interesting. Look, Denver was in a situation, Connell, where they had to go with quarterback. Now, you mentioned we're seeing all the, the six quarterbacks that were taken within the first 12 picks. We went 14 consecutive selections in last night's round number one. Offensive players, that's an NFL record. Six quarterbacks taken hmm. in those first 12 selections. That's never happened before. And yet, when Penix goes down and you saw Minnesota move up one spot to go and get J.J. McCarthy, it felt like they needed to make this decision. You're right, they got Zach Wilson, but the reality is, I don't know if Zach is is the week one starter or the long-term answer. That just adds some depth in a quarterback room, which is probably the reason why Atlanta took Michael Penix. Been asking that question purposes. in New York for a number of years about Zach, but yeah. uh, hopefully he does better when he goes out there. Hey, great to see you, Mike. Thanks for Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.